In today's tooltip, we're going to review tallies. When you insert a member into a drawing, you'll want to know the overall length of that member and what purchase length you require to order. For some members, like a 2x4, I'll want to know the length I need to cut and if I need to order a 10-foot board or a 16-foot board for the project. Whereas for an engineered board, like an LVL, I'll need to know the total linear footage to order and the length to cut each piece. Select Insert Members Members or select the Members icon on the Building tab. First, I'll review the 2x4. Select it in the catalog and right-click and select Edit Element. The Members dialog box appears with the 2x4's information. Let's look at the Purchased Items tab first. Under the Purchased Items tab, it will list out all the lengths that you can order for a 2x4. You can add more lengths or delete out any lengths not common to you using the buttons. When we run a material report for a 2x4, it will report the purchase length we need to order given the length of the member that we drew. As an example, if I drew a 9-foot piece of board, it would automatically order a 10-foot board. If we also want it to report the actual length in the material list, we need to tell it to include the cut length as a tally. To do that, click on the Quantity tab. Under the Quantity tab, put a check beside Include Cut Lengths. This triggers in the report that you not only want to know the board to order, but also want to include the length of the board in a tally line. I will click OK to accept my changes. Now let's look at an engineered board. I will double click on the 1 and 3 quarter by 9 and a half LVL member. By double clicking on a catalog item, you can edit its properties. Click on the purchased items tab of the LVL. It is blank. LVL boards don't come in set lengths. You order an overall length from the manufacturer. Click on the Quantity tab. Here, if you select the Include Cut Lengths, it will note in the material list not only the overall length of the board, but also include the cut lengths in the model. I will select it and then click OK. Now let's draw the two boards we altered and another random board that doesn't have the Include and Cut Lengths checked. Selecting the 2x4, I move my cursor onto the drawing screen and I left click to start drawing. Moving my cursor to the right, I can see the length I am drawing in the commander area of the screen. This area also lets me type in exact dimensions. Since distance has a dark blue box around it, I know it is active, so I can type without moving my cursor in that area. I type 10 feet and hit enter on my keyboard and it draws a 10 foot piece of 2x4. Right click and select repeat. It repeats the commands, so again, I left click where I want to insert another board and this time I type 15 feet and hit enter. I right click and select finish. Now select the 1 and 3 quarter by 9 and a half LVL member. I move my cursor on the drawing screen and I left click to start drawing. Moving my cursor to the right, I type 10 feet and hit enter on my keyboard and it draws a 10 foot piece of the LVL. Right click and select repeat. It repeats the command, so again, I left click where I want to insert another board and this time I type 15 feet and hit enter. I right click and I select finish. Now I'm going to select a 1 and 3 quarter by 11 and 7 8 LVL from the catalog. This board doesn't have the include cut length option selected. I move my cursor onto the drawing screen and I left click to start drawing. Moving my cursor to the right, I again type 10 feet and hit enter on my keyboard and it draws a 10 foot piece of the LVL. Right click and select repeat. It repeats the command, so again, I left click where I want to insert another board, and this time I type 15 feet and hit enter. I right click and select finish. Now let's look at how these boards report in a material list. Select tools, analyze, generate project estimate. I'm using the quote generator report style to organize my material list. In the report, this column of information is where SKU numbers are listed. We can see the two cut lengths for the 2x4 have SKU numbers that also include the word tally. This is their tallied length. Beneath the tallied SKU numbers are the actual board length SKU numbers that you would order for the length of 2x4 you require. Beneath those are the tallied length of 9.5 LVL required, and then the actual LVL SKU and the overall length of the board that is needed for the project. The last line is the 11 and 7 eighths LVL board. Since it doesn't have the include cut lengths option checked, it will just report the overall length of the two boards required for the entire project, combining the 10 foot and the 15 foot lengths. 
If you're sending this report over to a point of sale, the tally SKUs are just text lines and not actual SKUs. So you must determine how your point of sale will handle them. You either need to delete them before sending them to your point of sale, or your point of sale may take a line item and you can keep them just as a string of text. I hope that makes your work one step easier.